Hello everybody and welcome to your daily tarot advice. This is for Wednesday, September 5th, 2018. Today we still have the uh, waning crescent moon in Cancer. So the message of that is much like yesterday where we need to kind of go within and reflect rather than act and do. Also because, you know, uh, the moon rules cancer, right? So this is a time of deep sensitivity and uh, intuition, insight, uh, having empathy for another, really seeing uh, through the eyes of another person where they're coming from. And because of that, um, I'm going to use more spiritually based decks for today's reading because that's more the energy that's at play uh, in conjunction with the moon and what the moon's doing today. So um, as we remain in this sensitive, reflective, empathic, psychic mode, let's see um, you know, what guidance we have for that energy specifically today. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so we have Valley, a fertile new role. This is saying really uh you know till your energy today and over the next several days as we approach this new moon in virgo because it's a perfect time to sow seeds of big time change and what you would really like to happen and manifest in your life okay and you don't sow the seeds and the next day there it is it's usually over the course of a moon cycle or several just depending on what it is that you're asking for or wanting to achieve or change within yourself. So, you know, focus on what you would like positive in your life and how you would like positive changes and manifestations and really vibe there over the next several days as we approach this Virgo new moon and then sow your seeds, make it your intention for those things to manifest in your external reality, okay? So focus on the new and where there's fertile ground for you and where you need to tend your own energy and inner self to create, um, you know, fertile environment for all the changes and things that you would like to happen, okay? So today, for those of you who like the interactive option, we have Conscious Spirit, Work Your Light, and the Advancing um, Life Oracle. So I will start with Sagittarius. If you are not a Sagittarius, go to your timestamp below. Hi, Sagittarius. How are you? Let's see what's going on for you guys today. Ooh, so we have spiritual service. So Sagittarius, this coming out as your overall energy um, is saying a couple different things. Some of you who are really hurting or suffering emotionally, going through a lot of a, like, you know, different feelings, tending a wound, you know, the way you're feeling that pain is to varying degrees for all of you. With this, it's saying you know, take your focus off the hurt, off the wound, and funnel your energy into some sort of service or charity or volunteering for others, you know, and that could be in so many different ways, right? Um, some of you could start volunteering at maybe your local animal shelter and receiving a lot of healing and therapy with the animals, um, you know, through your service. Others of you, this is like you do have a voice, okay? And um, you do have wisdom and you do have insight that you need to share and offer to other people and help them. They may come to you today, okay? Um, for others of you, because of the moon energy, you might really just have this like nudging, like you want to give back, you want to do more, you want to be more. And you know, this is a confirmation of yes, Sagittarius in whatever arena it is for you today, step up and shine, be the leader, 
be the master no matter what you are going through. Yeah, because look at that. It, that's what brings you success right there all day. Success for Sagittarius through service given to others in whatever way that works out for you personally. And look at here. We have the King of Cups and then we have the Knight of Wands. Um, so Sagittarius, strong Cancer energy playing out for you today. Um, I can't help but associate that to the waning crescent moon that's in Cancer, okay? It's really impacting you emotionally not just that but your like psychic uh, intuition empathic abilities are very heightened today so you should trust all inner guidance and prompting it will not lead you astray whatsoever you're very con um, like tapped in to that part of yourself or to your spirit guides or the guidance of them all right and it's leading you towards success so Sagittarius today is the day to really take the high road to be an example um, to shine bright to take the lead you know but do it with a lot of grace and gentleness and be a sage for others giving them advice and counseling you know some of you that's like the order of today you're helping other people become quite successful through the service or guidance or counsel that you're giving them all right but you yourself it's like through this that's what elevates your energy and reinvigorates you and those of you who are struggling with a lot of um like healing issues right now seriously by shifting your focus from your pain and directing it outwardly towards a, some sort of service to others um, or humanity to animals whatever works for you like that really restores you and balances you and makes you feel back in your own energy like you can take on the world okay but many of you it's like you're the star of the show you're the leader of the pack um, and you are either leading yourself towards success or you're leading others towards success today okay so a, a big plate um, full for Sagittarius but it looks like you handle it like a boss and ultimately the day ends very well for you okay so Sagittarius if you require further guidance or clarity click on the timestamp to the deck you are most drawn to otherwise you have a great day take care hello Capricorn how are you let's see what vibes are going on for you guys today with this waning crescent moon and cancer making everybody very sensitive intuitive sensitive to others Ooh, and look at this reassurance of the golden light so Capricorn this is um, you know a confirmation to you that whatever you're going through whatever happens today or ha you have been experiencing you know it's everything's gonna be okay you don't need to worry you don't need to stress and when I say everything's gonna be okay that means the ultimate outcome is you know truly in the highest good of all so whatever happens however it plays out it is in the highest good of all involved including you all right um, so trust in that some of you this is like just a confirmation Capricorn no you're not alone your spirit guides are right there with you always and um, especially today and here now as I'm saying that we have the Emperor in this position some of you could be dealing with an Aries um, we have the two of swords and then we have the chariot so some of you could be dealing with a cancer so Capricorn with this energy yeah some of you have a lot of um, responsibilities or just a lot of things to tend to and you might have been feeling a bit overwhelmed or stressed can I do this can I handle this can I handle these changes these setbacks you know whatever it is and the answer is a resounding yes yes you can um, you know there is success for you do not give up just hold your ground and you know keep your energy open with the two of swords here this tells me like the heaviness is passing okay you're moving on to smoother waters 
to more understanding, to, um, you know, comfort, reassurance, success, outcomes, you know, the way that you had hoped. So, you know, whatever's going on, just hang in there and don't give up because something might actually turn around in, you know, the ninth hour, 10th hour, 11th hour, you know, right before it has to happen or, or the show has to start, whatever it is, it's like, it's all going to work out. So there's no reason to stress or feel worried. Just make sure that you're very diligent and focused on the task at hand. But, you know, don't be serious and staunchy and um, just like, because in this position, it's, you know, the emperor has a lot of responsibility and, you know, he's doing everything he needs to do. But at the same time, he could be denying himself some serious happiness because he is too focused on being responsible, too focused on doing the right thing. OK, so if that speaks to you, kind of let that energy go from your grip. Know that everything is going to work out just fine. You know, as long as you do your part, trust that everybody else is going to do their part as well. And, you know, there will be success. Um, also, some of you who have some ideas or something that you want to do or change, no longer be afraid. You got to take the reins of the destiny of your life sometimes and say, okay, yes, this is what I choose. And, you know, those of you that are kind of at that crossroads, here's your confirmation that you've just got to take the first step and it is going to lead towards success. All right. So Capricorn, those are your messages for today. If you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you are drawn to. Otherwise, you have a fabulous day. Take care. Hello, Aquarius. How are you? Let's see what is coming out for you today. Ooh. We have the first ray of power. So Aquarius, couple things with this. Um, there could be some changes taking place in your world today that really need to happen in order um, for other things to come in that you want to happen or you know you want to manifest for yourself so there could be some changes taking place in your world today others of you um, the changes that you know need to happen at the time is now it's like let's not hold back let's not you know procrastinate anymore let's start actually preparing and take that first step for whatever changes need to happen to improve your life to improve your your happiness um, to walk towards your dream you know whatever it is for you and lastly with the first ray of power uh, Aquarius some of you are really going to be required to take the role of leadership somehow some way today and you know even if you feel unsure about it or um, not capable you are and uh, just do it some of you this is where it's like you are a leader and it's time you step into your power into your light and let yourself shine don't hold back for anybody okay and if major change needs to take place in your world let it take place okay so we have the ten of pentacles um, many of you this could have to do with um, you know your job in the workplace or family next we have strength could be a Leo and now we have the five of wands so conflict uh, differences of opinion uh, listen, Aquarius, some of you, it's like you're going to have to take the high road, be the leader, be the mediator between others who can't see eye to eye or who are disagreeing, okay? Um, some of you, this could be where you come across like maybe two people really just getting into it in the workplace and you're like, whoa, 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 you know, calm down, break it up, that type of thing where you come across, you know, some sort of conflict and you're the one that kind of jumps in and breaks it up and, you know, calms everybody down. Um, others of you, this might be where you are actually like in a position of power, a manager, a business owner, or just uh, very <clears throat> knowledgeable or wise 
in something and you know people are really seeking your guidance and your service and your advice today to help them solve and resolve a conflict but it's like Aquarius you're very uh, wise very strong very firm in your energy today and if you're not feeling that grab a hold of that that's what's being offered it's like you are so empowered and don't be in any sort of internal conflict of <clears throat> which you're capable of and which you're not capable of because what I see in this reading Aquarius is you are truly capable of anything like there's something that you need to do or try or reach for and you're not because you're like I don't know is this the right way can I do it you know etc etc and this is like yes yes you can okay just don't don't be in conflict if it's about your capability or if you have the power or the strength or the stamina because you do. Some of you, <clears throat> the big time changes that need to take place so that you can move forward or advance, whatever that means for you personally in your day to day, let it happen, okay? Overall, you look very empowered and very much in charge, very much the boss and breaking up spats between um, other people, okay? So if you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you are most drawn to, Aquarius. Otherwise, you have a great day. Take care. Hi, Pisces. Let's see what is in store for Pisces today. Right, alchemical mutation. All right, Pisces. So this here is uh, speaking to big time change happening in your life today. Um, you know, whether this is like physically unfolding or you are ready to start doing what it takes to make big time change in your life, um, you know, however relationships job where you live how you keep your house being organized your daily routine you name it others of you this is about your you know physical body and those of you who are incredibly spiritual uh, this could be where you are um, receiving this upgrade and expansion you know to your body your cells as well as your consciousness you know and that will not speak to everybody but those of you it does you know what that means and so if you've kind of been in that mode of dark night of the soul which is interesting because that's what I was feeling and I thought for sure that's what would come out um, this is like it's because you are preparing for a big time upgrade and expansion so keep that in mind okay so we had the seven of pentacles jump out along with the two of pentacles and then the three of cups yes um Pisces, this is like something long awaited is finally showing up or you're seeing the opportunity on the horizon. Um, this could also be where you thought you could only have a choice at one thing, but you actually have a choice between two things. And, you know, you were kind of giving up hope or feeling like, is this ever going to work? Is this ever going to pan out? Is my ship ever going to come in? And somehow, some way today, Pisces, it shows up and there's great happiness and celebration of about it so some of you this could be something small um, others of you much more significant it's a general reading so what it is is different for all and will affect you differently but ultimately it's like something you didn't think was gonna um, pay out or pan out actually does and more than you thought which brings you a lot of joy okay and those of you who are go undergoing this big upgrade and expansion this is like where you've been how you've been feeling this you know a uh, twig of a tree the clouds gloom like when is this crap over and then who shares this beautiful ocean and some new opportunities and some manifestation and we're happy so do you see that here we are and boom here's the upgrade total difference of scenery lush flowing water beautiful maidens dancing and celebrating and over here we're just barren and ugh right so Pisces that's the uh, theme of the day and some of you 
this is where you know you see this two of pentacles it's up to you truly today are we going to focus on what's not working out and feel bad about it or are we going to focus on the things that are going good for us and that do make us happy because i feel like some of you've kind of been stuck over here and today you know you really need to make the choice do i want to be over here or do i want to focus over here and choosing to focus over here on what's working what's positive what does make you happy brings about the change and that you desire or starts creating the momentum of energy so that change can unfold in your life okay Pisces so those are your messages for today if you require further guidance or clarity go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you're most drawn to otherwise you have a great day Pisces take care hello Aries how are you Let's see what the day has in store for Aries. Ooh, hold your center. So Aries, this is saying that today you are right. Um, whether in a situation, um, you know, something as mundane as you and a coworker having a disagreement about how a procedure should go or how something should be handled, like you, you know, if they're questioning you, you know, dig up your backup resources to prove it that you know you know what you're talking about if that's what you need to do okay you know what you're talking about um, others of you this is kind of where today is a day that we might have to say no if somebody's asking for a favor or asking you know just something not very realistic of you or even if it's a normal thing to ask if you don't have the energy it's okay for you to say no today it's like hold your center you um, are either 100% right and true in a situation today or this is a day where you need to really focus on yourself and you know um, say no it's like you don't have to accommodate others today you really don't Aries so let's see uh, what the tarot adds to this yeah 100% you do not need to sacrifice for the greater good of anybody or anything today, Aries. No, not at all. And here's your confirmation. That is such a perfect card to support the message right here, okay? And yeah, hold your ground because, Aries, if you're owed something, you're owed it. Hold your ground. Don't give in, you know. Um, you uh, let that person come to you and say, all right, Aries, you're right. I owe you this or I owe you an apology. Here's the thing I borrowed. Here's the money I owe you. Um, you know, some of you, this could be where you have a friend that's always asking you to listen to their problems and everything. It's always about them. And here they are showing up again today. And you know what? You could be like, uh -uh, I'm sorry. I ain't got time for all that. Like, and you don't need to have guilt or shame, Aries. You don't, really. And, you know, you see this portal here, okay? And here's the gallow. This is like really connect to your spirit, your intuition. You are on point, Aries. You know what's up uh, in, um, you know, normal situations and even things under the surface. It's like you know what's up and you do not need to self-sacrifice. And look at this. Four of Cups in this position. Um, there could be some opportunities where you put yourself out there um, in business and friendships um, in romance, you know, you name it. This is a general reading where you put yourself out there and maybe you were kind of rejected or taken advantage of or, you know, you were always being very uh, flowing and compromising and giving and, you know, you weren't receiving that back. And now today is a day to really, you know, hold your center, cut and anybody off, any situation off that just takes, takes, takes and have no guilt or shame in that even if they're kicking and screaming and wait, they will come and they will apologize. If anything, I feel like um, you know, this is energy that kind of has already played out and you did hold your center and now you're getting the return of that energy today where these opportunities um, or people are returning to you. Hey, Aries, do you want this job? Hey, 
Aries, I'm sorry, hey Aries, here's that money I owe you, okay? It's just you standing strong, holding your ground, brings reward, brings respect, and brings honor to you. And you don't have to sacrifice a damn thing today for anybody else or for the greater good or the greater cause. No, it's not your problem, burden to carry or bear. Do not let anybody guilt you into any of that, okay? Aries, you be strong in you, and you live today and do today what makes you happy, what makes your heart sing. And, you know, if you don't want to do something or be there, for somebody you have no shame or guilt like that's the message here it's all about you today Aries all right so if you require further guidance or clarity go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you are most drawn to otherwise you have a great day Aries take care hi Taurus how are you let's see what uh, information is coming out for Taurus today How beautiful is that? Especially with the messages that I've been seeing in your dailies as, as well as what came through in your spiritual advice for September. Um, but here's just another reiteration to you, Taurus, of how special you are and how important you are and how much you do matter, okay? Um, others of you, this is talking today about any situation um, circumstance, experience, relationship, interaction, whatever's going on in your world today, Taurus, really rise above, okay? Um, don't play into other people's dramas. Don't let people pull you into drama. Do your best to not be triggered. It's like the purity of your heart today, like, saves the world, saves the day, saves a person, saves you. Um, you know, this is you in your fullest, in your highest potential, vibrating just so nicely. Uh, it's lovely, Taurus. It really is. And don't let anybody pull you from this. Like, this is where you need to really vibe today. And, you know, anybody asking for advice, it's like you have the perfect words, but they're deeply profound. And, you know, with the uh, waning crescent moon in Cancer, I'm not surprised to see this. You might definitely be offering just a lot of um, really sage advice to others and your words very healing. Um, if you have a blog, you know, whatever comes through you today is going to touch many and help many. Um, really also, you know, tap in to the Christ consciousness. All right, that's unconditional love. That's um, forgiveness. Where do you need to forgive? Where do you need to heal? You know, where do you need to give more love in your life? Mostly all around yourself, I would say, because you guys are, are such givers for others, taking care of so many, you know, others' needs. And in saying that, you know, the, the people that are in your heart and soul. Some of you, you know, you save the whole world if you could. Others of you are far more selective and the people that are your people, it's like you would throw yourself in front of a bus to spare their life, okay? And sometimes, you know, in being that beautiful, strong soul for all, we lose sight of ourself. And many of you need to reconnect and remember, okay? Look at here, we have the Eight of Wands the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, uh, I, I see many of you being that wise old sage, um, giving advice to some. Others of you, this might be where you are um, lending some money or helping somebody out in a monetary way with resources even, okay? Um, others of you, Taurus, this is a day where there is a beautiful return of energy coming to you for you being this light to, you know, many or to a very select few. But wherever you give your energy, you give it all 100% and um, you can be counted on 100% for sure, right? 
So today, for some Taurus out there, this is a day of return to you where, you know, it's um, the return to the energy of your heart. So if this is a person reaching out to you that you haven't heard from, it's because like they can't be without your essence. You had a great impact on them, whether it's like um, an old work associate saying, hey, Taurus, I have this position open up. Are you interested? Um, or it's like an old friend that you love Lost, just lost touch with Taurus I've been thinking about you um, how are you I miss you um, this could be some lovers ex lovers like damn Taurus you were the best I ever had like I don't know what I was thinking by walking away from you okay um, others of you this is where you know there is something manifesting. That's what the Eight of Wands is all about. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. And here's opportunities coming your way. So overall, Taurus, it's a great day. It's like, um, you know, you are vibing in a really nice place. Um, you are guiding and instructing and helping others. Um, there's energy returning to you that's owed to you. And it com came, it's coming from you know, where you chose that high road to vibrate and offer love and forgiveness and healing. Some of you need to know that where you're holding on quite stubbornly to forgiveness, um, it's time to really consider letting that go so that healing can come in, all right? Because that what brings, you know, the manifestations and the new energies that we so desire in our life. Taurus, this is a beautiful reading today for you guys. Um, it's a good day, no matter what. It's a day of manifesting. It's a day of communication. It's a day of opportunities coming to you, some new, some of the past. It's reconnection. It's forgiving. It's healing. It's love, okay? So, Taurus, those are your messages for today. If you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you're most drawn to. Otherwise, you have a great day. Take care. Hi, Gemini. How are you? Let's see what's in store for Gemini today. Ooh, we got the seventh ray of ritual, order, and ceremony. So, Gemini, um, this being, you know, kind of an overall energy, there may be something about your day, um, you know, your daily routine, does it need to be changed? Could you be more productive? Um, because there's like some blocked energy, all right? And um, it's like changing your daily routine, your morning routine routine somehow will help the flow of your day much better also with this some of you um you know who don't spend a bit of quiet time in the morning upon waking you might want to consider doing so um also this is saying meditation affirmations anything to do with grounding with ritual with um you know balancing a self is associated with this card here um let's see what comes out honestly that that's very interesting card to come out um for a daily some of you might be exposed to uh like maybe new occult beliefs new spiritual ideas today and it's really something that just chimes in your soul or yeah look at that um, chimes in your soul and really cracks you open and um, you're like wow I never thought of it like that okay uh, some of you it's like if you slightly change up your routine today it has you run into some sort of unexpected opportunity so keep that in mind if you feel really drawn to go down this path opposed to taking this street like you normally would try it okay or if you find that you are experiencing detours or blocks it's don't push against it it's because um you're being led to a much better opportunity so that could be literally or figuratively so you know apply that how it fits so let's see gemini yeah 
uh, missed opportunities could absolutely be showing back up. This is card 44, and look at this. We have another four. So there's a lot of uh, stability in this. And for many of you, it's like the groundwork has already been laid. And look at this. We have the Ace of Swords, and we have the World card. Yep, Gemini. Um, today, expect the past to return in some capacity, uh, whether that's through person, through, um, you know, old idea, old belief that's being resurrected, uh, relationship, connection, trying to return, um, opportunities that you thought you had missed show back up, okay? Some of you, that's what this is all about. Others of you... Um, again, this is something about your routine, all right? Changing up your routine, um, whether it's like literal, what you do from day to day, the path to work, just all of it, switching that up is going to create some sort of new opportunity or allow you to reconnect with um, something of the past, all right? or others of you, this is something about your spiritual practice, your spiritual belief system um, that could use a little revamping and revisit past old beliefs, um, old things that you picked up but set down and didn't fully explore, okay? Because that's going to create new opportunities, new energy for you. Um, expand your consciousness in the exact way that you are so desiring, okay? So, Gemini, those are your messages for today. If you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you are most drawn to. Otherwise, you have a fabulous day, Gemini. Take care. Hello, Cancer. How are you? Let's see how... Uh, What's going on in your world? We still have that waning moon in your sign, so you guys are probably really feeling it. All right, let's see. Yeah, you guys are definitely feeling it. But again, your intuition, your psychic ability, your empathy on point 100. Very strong right now. Mm, look at that. Just as I'm saying that, how appropriate is this initiation by water? Yes, Cancer, you are very on point with your intuition, your gut feelings, um, talking to the spirits, you know, whatever that means for you. Others of you, this is saying, you know, it's time to cleanse our energy field and our emotional body and rid ourselves of any sort of lower vibrating energies, okay? Um, because you guys, with this, you know, every single one of you is either like a natural empath, a natural psychic, um, or you're one of those people where, you know, intuition is on point, on key, not just for you, but for others. And you're being very intuitive is a different thing than being psychic, okay? Um, intuitive is more about sensing the energies and um, if the emotions and, you know, seeing how the energy is going to unfold and play out, all right? Psychic is more about like specific details, seeing, you know, future, this person, this color hair, you know, all those details, whereas intuition is more of like that guide, right? So, you know, decide how that fits for you, but it's like we need to clean up our energetic body and our emotional body and be uh, really in balance because you are so on point right now and um, you know, questions that you put out to the universe being answered, as well as you receiving guidance and prompting for yourself and for others right now. Yeah, heck yeah, look at that. The sun, Cancer, you're on fire. You are so on point in everything. Like, please trust yourself because look at what is next. We have the Seven of Swords, and now we have the Chariot, your own energy. Cancer, anybody or any situation that you feel is being deceptive, dishonest, um, betraying, you know, you name it, stealing, being shady, being a cheat, being a thief, like whatever you are feeling or sensing around a person or situation in regards to that energy, Cancer, you are on point. 
Trust yourself. Don't think you're stupid. Don't think you're foolish. You know, really trust your gut instincts today and act accordingly because you're right. And if somebody comes to you for advice, that first gut instinct you feel, that's the answer that you give to them, okay? And honestly, that is like what uh, brings you the success, you know, saves you from the heartache, saves you from the misery, all truth coming to light is so to speak, okay? Others of you, this is um, where we need to clean up our energy or emotional body about, you know, where we have been betrayed, we have been hurt and harmed. It's like it's time to allow the sun in to heal all of that energy inside of you cancer and let it go be cleansed be purified because it's time for you to move on and you know moving on is moving on to bigger and better things and you no longer need to be stuck to this anchor of what hurt you or let you down or disappointed you it's like the universe giving you permission to be happy to be free to let yourself um, go of this energy of the seven of swords okay and um, it's a day of healing and happiness and success so cancer those are your messages for today if you require further guidance or clarity go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you're drawn to otherwise have a great day take care hi leo how are you let's see what the day has in store for leo Okay, well, I think that was pretty obvious. Uh, we got paradigm shift and unplug for mass consciousness. Okay, Leo, with these coming out, this is saying that, um, you know, there are things happening inside of you, inside of your consciousness, inside of your emotion, and it's very different than, you know, what's happening in your current life that you're living. And this is saying, don't seek advice and guidance from, you know, the sleeping, so to speak, okay? You need, if you are looking for any sort of clarity or guidance, you need to go to somebody very knowledgeable and very wise. So in a practical sense, like, you know, if you're at work and you're really confused, you don't know what to do, you've hit a challenge with whatever you're working on, this is saying, like, go to the most experienced, knowledgeable person, even if that means going over somebody's head. Like, that's what you need to do to get the true help that you require to get the solution or resolution, whatever it is that you are seeking today, okay? For others of you, this is a bit more spiritual or going on inside of you where, um, you know, you're trying to either really understand a big change that's recently happened in your life or you are feeling um, a big time change inside of you where all of a sudden you're not relating to maybe your friends or you're not relating to your partner anymore. You're not relating and feeling like you fit into your daily situations and everyday life like this is some big change inside of you where you're like no something's got to give I've got to make a change I can't keep being your friend for the sake of being your friend like you suck I hate you like you suck me dry get out of my life okay some of you it's like it's just this weird um, total change in desire and perspective about you know just some situation relationship or person in your life and you know rather than seeking the advice or counsel of anybody of just anybody like no you only open up today to people who are truly highly spiritual just depending on your situation or those who are incredibly knowledgeable, okay? And also with this um, unplug from mass consciousness, you know, if you've been um, getting kind of weirded out about, uh, you know, any sort of like conspiracy theories and things like that, and it's freaking you out, um, or it's just, you know, whatever, this is saying like don't buy into the messages of those 
too much, okay? Oftentimes, you know, any sort of radical idea, new idea, conspiracy theory, anything like that is really to trigger something inside of you, which may or may not have anything to do with what the subject that you're researching or listening or learning about, okay? So keep that in mind. So let's see what the um, tarot has to add. Okay, that's two cards. We need three. All right. <clears throat> so we have the Emperor. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Swords. Yes, Leo, this is not a day to be speaking your business to anybody or if you're just really feeling weird about different emotions and thoughts that you've been having this is not a day to just discuss it like um really it's a day of introspection or only seeking out the truly wise and knowledgeable to help you out and also very very trusted um people that aren't going to spread your business or anything okay and you know if you've been exposed to some things that you really just don't understand, you know, spiritual beliefs or different conspiracy theories, again, seek out a very credible, knowledgeable source to help balance you and guide you and, you know, redirect you, okay? But ultimately, Leo, um, it's not a day to execute a plan, uh, make a final decision. You're just kind of in the, the in-between part of a beginning and an end okay and um it's like you're just now awakening to this change that's naturally been happening inside of you but um you know go with it just feel it out see what it's telling you if you feel like a certain relationship no longer fits on you it doesn't if you feel like uh certain friendships aren't really part of your tribe, they're not, all right? Um, but it's, even though we're coming to these understandings and different conclusions, it's not a day to just cut somebody out of your life, okay? Or end a relationship or quit your job or enroll in school, you know, just whatever this is for you. It's really more of contemplation and gathering more information, more knowledge. Not so much because, um, you need to like your decision isn't already made or you don't already know but more so that you feel more secure about the decisions that you need to make or the changes that you're seeking to make okay so interesting day leo very interesting day um some of you this could involve an aries or an air sign gemini libra aquarius and uh, look at seven of pentacles and we have uh, card seven here and oh my god i can't believe i didn't see this till the end paradigm shift is card four and emperor is card four wow big time synchronicity right there because the queen of swords she doesn't have a number right leo yeah big time change is coming and you guys are thinking about it. Some of you, this has kind of been ongoing, but some of you, this is like, it's just all coming down today. It's just coming into your mind. And don't let anybody persuade you or dissuade you. You know what's right for you within, okay? And if you do need clarity, go to somebody very spiritually wise or somebody incredibly knowledgeable in the subject um, that you need some direction, okay? But uh, wow, very powerful reading for Leo today. Um, if you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you are most drawn to, Leo. Otherwise, you have a beautiful day. Take care. Hi, Virgo. How are you? Let's see what is on the menu for Virgo for today. And happy birthday to all those September 5th Virgos out there. Oh, look at this. The sixth ray of devotion. So, Virgo, um, this here tells me today is a very spiritual day for you or very religious day for you, just depending on what you believe. Um, you are either just really uh, connecting to spirit 
um, by your own accord, um, just choosing to walk in that path today with spirit, with the archangels, uh, with Jesus, with whatever deity you connect with, okay? Others of you, this is like where you are in a deep sense of gratitude um, with the divine for whatever you are feeling or experiencing today, okay? It's just this really strong connection to the, to the divine, and it's of love, it's of gratitude, it's of how may I serve you, okay? And, and this is going on inside of you, all very natural, Virgo. So let's see. Oh, nice. Some of us are in this deep sense of gratitude because there is an opportunity or an offer that shows up today that just makes our day or that we've been really wanting to happen. Um, this could be unexpected money. You could find, you know, some money on the ground or somebody who owes you some money could finally come through or that loan you've been trying to get is finally approved. This is like the yes card. So, you know, how this plays out for you guys is different for everybody. It's a general reading. But with this paired with that, um, Virgo, you guys are happy. Like there's something coming in for you guys today that just fills your heart and soul with joy, whether that's, you know, with friends, with family, with money, with job, etc., or it's something to do with your spirituality, your spiritual growth. Like there is something happening today that brings you great joy, so much so that, you know, you are in deep gratitude. And look at this. Here's the tower, and um, this is the other side. So some of you, this is like where you feel that you're, um, you know, receiving something that was taken from you, something that was lost. And look at that. Right here is the world card, all right? Um, and that is, you know, something from the past, something not quite being completed, but I feel like it's a return for some of you. Um, yeah, Virgo, you know, look your best today. You could have unexpected run-ins with people, um, you know, just you wherever you are there could be unexpected opportunities of different sorts being offered some of you this is kind of shocking but it's in a good way and some of you this is like a person opportunity or situation from the past that's returning now today and it's a good thing whatever it is whatever it's offering it's a good thing and it brings you a lot of joy okay so virgo today is the day of yes unexpected encounters, unexpected opportunities, unexpected finds, um, some pleasant return of the past somehow, some way. Okay, so Virgo, those are your messages for today. If you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead and click on the timestamp to the deck you are most drawn to. Otherwise, you have a great day, Virgo. Take care. Hello, Libra. How are you? Let's see what the day has in store for all the Libras out there. All right, look at this. We have life path. So, Libra, today is a day of um, new beginnings or new opportunities or new focus, okay? Um, about, you know, what's up ahead, what you want. Or, you know, if you've got a lot to do today and handle today, make a list and be very diligent and you will get every single thing on that list accomplished today, okay? Um, others of you, this is all about, like, new opportunities showing up, new ideas um, coming to your mind. <laughs> and look at as I'm saying that new love opportunities. Some of you, there's a baby being born in the family today, whether it's yours or um, a family member or a friend or maybe in the workplace if somebody's been pregnant. Um, some of you, this is a uh, all about maybe finding out about a pregnancy, whether it's your own, um, somebody close to you, or somebody in your workplace, okay? Let's look at this baby energy, Ace of Cups, right uh, in alignment with that. But um, this is like really nice, 
Libra, there's some new energy coming to you somehow, some way today. Um, you know, whether through birth or conception or a new opportunity, um, a new opportunity at romance, a new friendship, um, an opportunity of mending and truth being offered to you. Okay. <laughs> And we have the lovers, and we have the sun, and we would have the star card next, and then your own energy, Libra. Oh my goodness. Yes, Libra, today is a day of love. Um, some of you, there could be some professions of love to you. I'm just saying, I mean, good God, we have the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, and the Sun. Are you kidding me? Yes, some of you, there's somebody is professing some love or letting you know they like you. Um, if you go on a date tonight, first time, it looks magical. Um, anybody you meet today, whether it's romantic friend or business, doesn't matter. It looks like you guys are just going to hit it off and the energy is awesome. Um, but man, I am really, really taken back to this baby energy now that the sun has come out too. Um, if you are not wanting to conceive take precautions. Uh, the energy is so strong. Today, you guys might actually, you know, again, it could be finding out about baby or somebody's pregnant or the baby is finally um, being born today, whether it's yours or somebody else um, around you, okay? But for it to come through your cards, it's significant. It's important. You care about it. It's a time of gathering, of love, of connection, of warmth, of truth, of healing, of new beginnings, of conception, of birth, of just love. My God, Libra, awesome, awesome day for you guys. Um, anything to do with romance, family, friends, it all looks just awesome. And be open for new opportunities showing up or being offered to you today. Um, look your best. And if you are going out on a date with somebody tonight, it looks great. If you're going to be hanging out with friends, definitely um, a chance for a romantic opportunity to present itself. So Libra, those are your messages for today. If you require further guidance or clarity, go to the timestamp to the deck you are most drawn to. Otherwise, you have a great day. Take care. Hi, Scorpio. How are you? Let's see what the day has in store for all those Scorpios out there. Okay, right there. Ooh, this is Soul Child. Scorpio, you are having an awakening today, okay? And also with this, if you've been feeling like you don't belong, this is the universe saying, Scorpio, you belong. You matter. You are important. You are a part of the divine plan. You being here at this time is exactly where I intend you to be. You matter. You count. You are a part of all that is. Do not think yourself small. Do not put yourself on the side sideline. Do not count yourself out. No matter, you know, what's happened or what you've been through, you matter. You're important and you are here for a purpose. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Look at this. You know, and some of you, whatever you've been working hard at, don't give up on it. Even if you're like, man, I just don't feel like I'm vibing with this right now. Don't give up, okay? It will pass. You will find your mojo. You will find your energy once again. So, Scorpio, let's see. Mm-hmm. Two of Cups. Hermit. And four of pentacles. Okay, Scorpio. Some of you, um, you know, this could be about like a romantic relationship or just a friendship or family member that's really, really close to you. All right. And I see that, you know, we're not speaking. There's distance between us. So we are either literally physically separated and not speaking or if we are, you know, in each other's presence, it's like we're not speaking or very few things are being said. There feels like there's a lot of distance um, between you and another person, okay? But this could also be for some of you. Um, this is more talking about the connection between you and you, like you and your own soul, Scorpio, 
know, and where you've kind of gotten pulled off your path by other people, their ideas, their demands upon you, their expectations of what you should be, do, how you should live your life, you know, pe being a people pleaser. Um, and it's time for you to come back to yourself and remember who you are. And your life is about you, Scorpio, whether you are giving um, service to humanity or not, whether you are um, experiencing a twin flame journey or not, your life is about you. You have your own life journey, your own things you're working on that have nothing to do with um, spiritual service to humanity, twin flame love, romance, friends, none of it, okay? And I feel today you need to come back into yourself and the knowing of that. And, you know, people who aren't exactly honoring you and loving you and respecting you the way that you so rightfully deserve, Scorpio, it's time to put some distance between you and those type of relationships because they're really throwing you off balance and confusing you and, um, um, you know, you don't recognize it until you get some separation between you and those relationships and then you feel renewed and your batteries are recharged and you remember who you are and you feel strong and empowered once again, okay? So, um, today, Scorpio, it's all about being in yourself and remembering who you are and not being willing to accommodate others when their requests or wants from you just do not align to your path or to your true heart, you know? Don't let anybody convince you that you need to betray your own heart to, you know, win or to make them happy. You know, you do not need to self-sacrifice to the point of detriment to keep something together. If that's what's required of you, you need to let that go because it's really distracting you and confusing you and making you think you are far less than you truly are. Okay. Um, and lastly, some of you, the reason why I bring up the twin flame is because I do see that happening here, okay? There is some um, disconnection between you and a twin flame. Um, and the thing is, listen, Scorpio, there's things we have to work on without each other right now. That's why we are separated. It is part of our soul plan and our purpose for this life as we walk together and walk apart. So those of you who have really been struggling with that twin flame disconnection, um, you know, here's the universe reminding you, look, Scorpio, it's not all doom and gloom. Right now, you both need to walk a path without each other because there's much learning and growing to do at a spiritual and emotional level, okay? So, Scorpio, those are your messages for today. If you require further guidance or clarity, go ahead to the timestamp to the deck you're most drawn to. Otherwise, you have a great day. Take care. Hello there. Let's see what Conscious Spirit has to add to today's reading. All right, so we have Solar Plexus Chakra. Um, I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. So this here, being attracted to um, this deck, the message is, you really need to become empowered in yourself um, in whatever you're asking about, uh, whether relationship, um, your life in general, your job, you know, it doesn't matter. This is like you need to believe in yourself and um, when you allow confidence and you allow the empowerment to come from the inside out, it's like there's nothing you cannot achieve, okay? Some of you, this is saying to get to where you want to go or to achieve what you want to achieve, it's we've got to get our third chakra in balance, all right? So there's tons of uh, chakra balancing meditations offered on YouTube, but um, if you've been feeling low energy, lacking confidence, um, just not feeling capable or able, you know, in situations or just life in general as of late, 
you work on that third chakra and um, you know you will become empowered and in that place you have the confidence to take steps needed take risks make changes you know whatever needs to happen all right so those are the messages from conscious spirit have a great day take care <clears throat> Hello. So let's see what working for a light oracle has to add for today to all the messages. Apparently my guineas are chiming in on this one. Ooh, birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So um, this, to me, as a confirmation or answer, is saying we need to try something new, whether um, we need to let the old go and open ourselves up to the new, or really expand our consciousness to come up with new ideas um, to elevate our energies so that new experiences can unfold in old situations or relationships, okay? So this is all about birthing the new, focusing on the new, making it happen, or allowing it to come in by choice, all right? So um, those are the messages with Work Your Light Oracle. I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Hello. Let's see what Advancing Life Oracle has to add for today's messages. Okay, well, there we go, right there. Um, answered prayer, nice. Listen, um, with this coming out, it's like saying, hang in there, okay? Things are going to happen. Um, it's like, yes, things are going to happen, but, you know, it maybe not right now, today. It's you've got to hang in there and have faith, all right? And as an overall message entirely, you might need to balance your third chakra so that you um, feel empowered and confident in yourself, okay? Which allows you to open up to new ideas and concepts and energy. Some of you, it's to elevate your vibration, to let this prayer come in, and others of you, it's to open yourself up to the new so that you can let the old go, whether that's old emotional baggage, old hurts, old heartaches, or actually let people and situations of the past go so that this prayer can come in, okay? So hang in there and have faith. It is going to work out, but it's all a matter of divine timing and also you being in alignment energetically to what you're asking for, okay? So those are your messages for today. I am wishing you all the very best. Take care.